Hey guys, Geno Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in, we are going to uh, make a video and answer some questions that we get quite frequently about breeding rabbits uh, and some of the issues and problems that we may in, uh, encounter while we're trying to breed our rabbits. But first I wanted to show you my army of cute and cuddly minions that we are currently training and they will soon be ready to be unleashed upon the world for their cute and cuddliness. <laughs> Soon, my pretties. <laughs> All right, let's go talk about some breeders. Okay, guys, here's one of our buck rabbits, uh, Marshmallow. There is a lot of fur on here. He is uh, summer molting, which means he is shedding fur. You can see it all. Here's one of the reasons why I really like these wire shelf cages that we use. That, that hair just comes right off real super easy. You can see you can just take your hand and rub it across there and pull all that extra hair off of there and mix the little balls and you just take them right off. Quick and easy to clean these things up and still sturdy and we don't have any trouble with their feet as far as them being on this this uh, coated wire and we don't really have any trouble with anybody chewing on the coating either. So all right talking about breeding. When we breed our rabbits we always take the doe or the female rabbit to the buck or the male rabbit. We always take the doe to the buck's cage uh, because, you know, girls don't want some stinky dude in their house. And rabbits are pretty territorial. And sometimes if you bring a buck into a female's cage, there'll be a fight. When you bring your female into the buck's cage, sometimes things happen like uh, nothing. The, the male will just sit there and the female will just sit there. And that could be a couple reasons. One, maybe the female's not in heat. Uh, if that happens, usually just a little bit of time around the male will bring her in the heat within the next couple of days. So keep trying. Uh, the next couple of days after you try to breed, if nothing happens, try the next day and then the next day and so on and so forth. Eventually, uh, the hormones will change and she'll come into heat and he'll be able to breed her. Sometimes you will put the female in with the male and the female will try to do the do to the male. And uh, that's kind of backwards. So sometimes uh, just a little bit of extra time in there, they'll figure it out. If it's a dominant alpha female, she's just bullying the male and he will not feel like he's manly and he won't do anything. So if that's the case, a lot of times you can just hold the female down. And I'll, let me show you real quick. Like if, if we were doing this female right here, you could just get a hold of your female, put her in position and hold her down like this. Just push down gently. Push down gently right behind her head and hold her shoulders and she'll go ahead and, and be in a good position for the buck to come up and mount her from behind. Uh, yeah, I know, Mama. That happens a lot, whenever, especially if it's a new female who's uh, first time going in with a new male or they're both young and they don't really know what they're doing yet. That is one way that you can have him breed her. Uh, we've had to do that in the past. Usually we'll just wait and give a little bit of extra time and they'll run around and figure out who's who and what's supposed to be happening. Nature will take its course. But we do have, every once in a while, we'll have a female who's a, a, a really good breeder, female mama rabbit, and we want a breeder, and we'll have to hold her down like that for the male to do his thing. Uh, like I said, sometimes you'll put them in there and they won't do anything, they'll just look at each other. I'm, well, I'm not a rabbitologist. I'm not a rabbit optimist or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just a dude just got some rabbits. And I have found with my experience that reintroducing her the next day or the day after will go ahead and she'll go ahead and breed. Sometimes she may just be like, you know what, that is one ugly rabbit dude, man. I will never mate with him. Never mate with him, ever. And you kind of got to coerce her a little bit. So those are some of the breeding questions uh, that we have had recently. And those are some of the things that we do to uh, fix those particular issues. Uh, a lot of times, just spending, having them spend time, we keep our males close to our females so they can all smell each other, they're all acquainted, and we don't have any of those kind of issues. If you keep them separated, a lot of times moving the female a little bit closer to the male for a couple of days will help her come into heat, and, uh, and so on and so forth. The next question is, how old can the female rabbit be, or the male rabbit, before you breed them? Male rabbits typically can start doing their thing at eight, nine weeks old, and a little earlier in some cases, eight or nine weeks is usually a good time to make sure that he is ready to do what he is supposed to be doing. Females, it varies. Some will say you can do it at eight weeks. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, a lot of times they won't take. They're too young. If they do get pregnant when they're that young, there could be some issues and it could do damage to the rabbit. Usually about 14 weeks is a good safe time 
that we will use to breed a new female rabbit uh, that we have you know raised ourselves we know she's 14 weeks old we'll go ahead and breed her that's a good safe time and even later um, if she's a year two years that'd be great she's definitely ready but as far as young ones go I would give them enough time to where they're mature enough to one handle the breeding and two handle the pregnancy I personally would not recommend eight to ten weeks that's a little young in my opinion uh, but 12 14 16 weeks you should be safe how many times do we breed our rabbits a year? A lot of folks say you can do it four times a year. Yes, that is possible. You can do that four times a year uh, if you're in that position. Well, usually we do ours three times just because you can, when you go to wean your kits, you can wean the baby rabbits at six weeks. Usually we do ours at eight weeks just to make sure that they have time and they're truly weaned, they're eating and drinking on their own. You can wean them at six weeks, put them in a grow out cage and immediately rebreed the female. Um, like I said, we don't do that. We will wean our rabbit, our kits, our bunnies. We wean them at about eight weeks. And then we always give our doe a couple, two or three weeks to kind of recuperate uh, and get fat and healthy back again and kind of recover from having uh, you know, a large litter of, of babies. So we will breed ours three times a year, usually about two to three weeks after we wean a litter, we will rebreed that doe. So I hope that all makes sense. Uh, I hope this video helps. Thank you very much for the questions. Thank you very uh, much for watching the videos. I'm quite sure there's going to be uh, some actual rabbit, rabbit experts who disagree with me. But like I say, I'm not an expert. I'm not a, you know anything special. I'm just a regular old dude who's got rabbits. Uh, and we do very well with raising our rabbits. We have a lot of rabbits. We produce a lot of rabbits. And uh, this is how we do ours. This is just stuff that I have learned from actually doing it. So. Anyway, hope this helps. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless. In the end. Okay, not the end. We'll go ahead and uh, breed. We're going to uh, breed our Black Otter Doe uh, Standard Rex. So we're just going to get her. She's, she's pretty tame. So we can just pick her right up. We're going to move her in here with the buck. He is a blue, blue otter buck. We took his nest box out. I took everything out that was loose so that they have plenty of space to check each other out, let them do their thing, and that's not right, it happens sometimes, they will get to find themselves the right position, nature will do what nature does, see she's lifting her back in for her, so she's ready to go, waiting for him, to, he's a young buck, so she's waiting on him. That there was called a fall off. When you see that, you know there was a successful breed going on. We will typically look to get three fall offs and then we'll pull her out of the cage and in the morning we'll come back and have three more fall offs just to ensure that there's a good pregnancy. Rabbit's ovaries are, are separated into two halves and you can uh, make sure that you get both ovaries and both sides, uh, all the eggs fertilized by having a good set of fall offs. Uh, some folks say two fall-offs per breeding is okay, but you want to make sure you do it in the evening and then the next one in the morning. And that'll make sure that you have a nice big litter. And he'll do a little showing off for her now. He'll stomp his foot and he'll sniff and all that kind of stuff, and then he'll do it again here directly. He'll be back at it, and we'll try to have him do that three times. So hopefully that comes out very good on the video, and uh, it just takes a little bit of patience. It won't be long, and they'll be at it again here because they are rabbits, and they do it like rabbits, as the old saying goes. So hopefully it'll work out and hopefully this video will help that uh, like I say that's what that fall off was a typical textbook fall off that's what you're looking for you know there was a successful breed uh, and things happened that was supposed to happen when mating I don't want to get graphic about it it's gross so you have it breeding the rabbits hope this video helps y'all now the end for reals buzz buzz the end